Hello there, everybody. My name is Peepwarp, and welcome to a new Conquest Reforged mod pack video. The last one, it kind of popped off. It's kind of doing well. It's like the most popular video on my channel. So, I mean, I'm going to buy into the hype. I'm going to buy into it. I am getting the help of my friends today. Uh, they're not actually going to be helping me, but they are supplying me with some lovely builds. And we... Me, on my own, <laughs> I'm going to be transforming them with the Conquest pack. I know I had a lot of fun transforming my old builds in the last video. I'm going to link uh, that video in the description below. But I had a lot of fun transforming my own build, so I thought, why not get my friends in on this? Why not ask them to build me some lovely things that I could transform? So that's exactly what I've done. I've asked my friends Arrington and Severitis and Wolves of Pirates to make me some lovely things, some lovely unique things for me to change into conquest loveliness. Medieval conquest loveliness. Regardless of what the style they've made, I'm going to make it medieval. <laughs> no, no, I'll try my best to uh, work with the styles that they've made and um, whatever they've used. But I think it's time for us to go and actually look at these builds and see what we have on our hands, how we can start making them nice and conquesty. So let's go and see Arrington's build at first. And here we are in the world that Arrington sent to us and this way, we've got a path to follow it seems. So let's go and follow this path. There's some carpets down, is that, I think that's to, oh yeah, to hide pumpkins, perfect. Nice lighting. And what is this? This is a lovely looking building. Look at that coal detail. Look at these andesite. I really like the old texture for andesite. It makes it look all crumbly. I would love to see this texture back. Maybe like a cracked andesite or something. It would really add some nice texture. But look at this. The worn down corners of the build. And there's moss encroaching over everything. It looks like this place has been abandoned for quite some time. I saw some movement up there. Um, yeah, we've got some storage outside. And everything seems to be all broken up and dead. You dead? Let's go inside. Hello? Anybody here? There's nobody at the front desk, it seems, but it looks like this is a, a nice area to to enter. Got the got a nice carpet in front of here, and obviously this is where all the bookings happen. So let's go upstairs and let's see if there's any rooms that we can stay in. There's the the orange room and the magenta room. I think there's some more upstairs as well. There's the yellow room and there's the red room. Lots of red-based colors here. So let's go and check out the orange room. It's got orange bed, an orange poster, and, well, banner. But, you know, it looks more like a poster in this sense. Got a nice orange flower here. Is there anything behind the painting? No, no secrets and some nice overhead storage here. It's so strange, still strange being in this version of Minecraft. And here's the magenta room, a lot more magenta. There's a nice magenta carpet on the floor there. And it's a bit smaller, but it's kind of... I like the roof. I like the way the roof is on that one. So if we go upstairs to the other rooms, the yellow room... Somebody peed on the floor. Oh no, we need to get room service up in here. The yellow bed and the yellow flower. Some nice little details here. It's just kind of lobby area seating, I guess. It's so cool. And the red room. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happened here? <laughs> There's been a murder at room service again. We're going to need room service again. I'm, I'm concerned. Arrington, I'm concerned. Have you made a crime scene here? I'm going to just step out of this room before I get haunted. But, yeah, this is a... A nice little hotel that Arrington has built for me. It's very, very lovely. I like all the, the texturing details. And let's have a look at it from around. Let's see. Oh. Oh, no. Arrington. Oh, Arrington. You're doing a green here. Yeah, I'm quite finished the back. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll finish the back as well. But this is very, very lovely. It is not a medieval style build. It's uh, more of like an Edwardian kind of style, it looks like to me. Which is great, because I've been trying around with this style. So, I'm gonna... I think it's time for us to pop into the Conquest mod, the actual thing. And we can 
have a little have a little work on it and see how we can transform it using the mod. So yeah, let's jump into Conquest mod and transform this ruined hotel. So this is what Errington's build looks like, just with the Conquest texture bag. You know I, I like how it already makes it look nice. But um, what I'm thinking is to basically redesign the front of this to make it a little bit more like Edwardian hotel kind of design. Add some... <laughs> add some textures, add some different blocks in the middle so it's not just one front face, add a nice gradient and everything should look very lovely. I've already been playing around with some designs, so let's just get into it. Let's go into the time lapse. So here we are, on this rainy night. I want to find some shelter this way. I've not really done much on the outside. Uh, I've just basically cleaned up the path and replaced the carpets with grass. So all the lights are very, very hidden now. And here we come up to the ruined hotel. It looks... I'm very happy with how it looks. It looks very ruined and decrepit and broken windows and leaves growing down and moss and such. Very decrepit. Let's go inside. Here's the front desk. I've tried to keep the same layout for the entrance hallway. But if we look back here, there's... There's a rat and there's some a table with some food left on it that has gone moldy and there's cobwebs everywhere and just random bits of paper and there's some seating and stuff and a glitchy table. Just don't worry about that. I'm, I, I think it would look very lovely and welcoming if, uh, if it wasn't so run down. This used to be a very fine establishment. You can see that the wallpaper is very, very, very sophisticated. I wanted to give it a feel of sophistication, but also a feel of ruin. So I've kind of tried to blend the two. So here we come up to the first floor. Um, I really like the exposed brick on the back here. I think it really kind of pops, honestly, compared to like the the darkness down here of the purple. I think it really, I think it's nice. So. We have the orange room and the magenta room that I've redone. So if we go into here, there's a nice big orange tapestry. They got some beds and some cobwebs and broken glass and stuff and some shelves. And a nice little desk here where a person's been writing it a diary or something, some bookcases. All the rooms basically kind of have similar designs but different themes because of the color, you know. So the magenta room is is basically the same, but mouse, but pink. Yes, it is. It looks like an ice cream in here. <laughs> I kind of like it though. And it's uh, some coins. He's counting his coins. So if we go, oh, I also like this big bookcase here. It's very nice. 
And if we go up the stairs to the second floor, we can see there is a giant hole in the side of the of the hotel that's been ruined or exploded. But it's a nice window. Nice nice to see out of. The moon is looking lovely. But yeah, it's kind of uh Hello? I think that came from the red room. I'm gonna leave that one for last. So we go into the yellow room. It's very yellow. <laughs> very, very yellow indeed. These beds are kind of yellow, I guess. But yeah, they've got a nice game of chess going on. And some leaves. I like the overgrownness. So, like, this would just be a standard planter, but over time it has grown and taken over. And also these wooden beams are so nice on the top. So they, like, stick out here. It's really nice. So let's go to the, the creepy red room. Oh, no. Oh, no. What has happened here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... I don't think he has any answers for us because he is dead, but there is definitely something wrong with the red room. Red rum. Oh, I want to get out of here. But yes, this is the red room. <laughs> it's very creepy and oh, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, I really like just all the little details that I've added, like some tables here and some chandeliers that are still lit somehow. But yeah, just the details that I've managed to add to this place is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take it. Let's take a look from the outside. I love the, the skybox for this. It just... I just think it looks very nice. Very welcoming, but also very ruined. So yes, that was the transformation of Arrington's build. Let's move on to the next one. And here we can see that Wolves of Pirates has made me a whole village to transform. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's made a, a UFO kind of thing with end crystals all over it. Very, very scary, very worrying. But it looks like there's people in there as well. And there's an end crystal in here. This is like the engine or something like that. It's got the glowstone and end rods. Oh, I forgot that the end rod textures used to have like a little purple at the end of it. That's, that's strange. <laughs> uh, so let's go inside uh, here. Is this is this like a water cooled engine kind of thing? You need some, need some more pipes and stuff, but it looks like this is where the engine is and this is kind of like water cooling for the center. Hello, Evie. And what's your name? Adam. Adam and Evie. So this is, is this like a, a starter pod for like making new civilizations or something like terraforming adam and evie project life dome number one glory to mankind glory to squidward face kind whatever you are you're you're not you yeah i know you're not men um yeah it seems like this is a kind of rehabilitation pod kind of thing that you send like to other planets to grow civilization and terraform and such. I'm assuming that's what this thing does. It's kind of like the terraforming device. But this is really, really cool. It's getting dark, so I'm going to have to sleep. Please. But yes, it looks like a nice area. Why do they have the beds apart? That's not how you, that's not how you repopulate. Uh, but we've got emergency only. Emergency elytra, the food and landing gear. So there's some food. Is this... Oh, okay. Okay. Um, not for human use. And here's some diamond boots and everything. So it's basically just like a starter thing for new worlds. I'm going to have fun with this. I said I wasn't going to turn everything medieval, but I don't know if, if you're like anybody's aware of like futurism in medieval times. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, I'm referring to like the the pictures and drawings that artists like Da Vinci used to make of 
helicopters and flying machines and such that were definitely from the future, but they were still designed in a medieval fashion. I think that's the kind of direction that I want to go with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to build upon it and transform it directly. Oh, that one. No, oh, they're dying. Uh, I'm probably going to m make a transformed version over here using maybe the block palette and the kind of shape and design and theme and such but I'm gonna be leaning much more into a steampunky medieval kind of style so let's go into the conquest reforge mod and let's transform this planet transformer <laughs> I can only only call it that so yeah let's go been up all night working on that thing oh it's nice to see the sun and it's nice to see this I have completely changed <laughs> completely changed the original design uh, I'm very very happy with how it's turned out though I did base the design uh, on the um, Leonardo da Vinci tank design I just changed it up a little bit and made it a little bit more gothic -y. It's like a gothic UFO mixed with like Howl's Moving Castle kind of thing. I'm really, really happy with it. It's like a... It it does look like a medieval UFO kind of thing. But it also, if you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a little... It looks, it looks a little bit like a bug. It looks like a like an ant with those two eyes. I, I changed it from being a glass dome to just having windows. Because I think that's more fits... The build style of this but yeah i love the the buttresses just on the ufo you know because i can put them there and the wooden supports it's just really nice so let's go inside and have a look shall we i, I i'm instead of going in from the top i made it proper ufo style and put it in the bottom and for some reason the water is very 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 loud Hello? Can you can you turn down? I'm gonna have to turn down. Okay, now that the water has stopped, <laughs> well, the water particles have not. So basically, there's just water pinging everywhere. But yeah, I I moved around the original um, layout a little bit. I added the crop field in the center, so like the water cooled engine also nourishes the crops. Which I think is pretty cool. Got some hanging bushes and some supports there. And it's just kind of the same as the the other one. It's just a bit vamped up, really. Got the, uh, the ad look. There they are. Our beautiful repopulators here. What's your names? You are Eva Longoria and Adam Driver. They're going to repopulate. They even, you even look like Adam Driver. I hate that. I hate that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, basically just done the interiors, which is really cool. I've got little bushes and stuff, some food barrels and some crates and stuff. I just really enjoy all the little details that you can add using the Conquest mod. Just look, just a pile of books and like, and these jam jars. Look how much they add to that corner. It's ridiculous. 
and then just some vases and stuff. There's just lots of storage everywhere. You're going to have to take a lot of things if you're moving Earth. There's the emergency food and landing gear. There's There it is in there. And yeah, I'm just very happy with how I turned out. I, was, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, uh, but I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. It looks really, really different. It It's something I've never built before. It's very unique, and I really enjoy how it turned out. I've left these two just next to each other, just to have a nice comparison there. I love it. I haven't added as many end crystals as wolves did. I'm, I'm too scared to use them. I only use the one on the bottom here. I think it just kind of adds to the mystic of it. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Good transformation. Thank you, Wolves, for supplying the build. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's move on to the next one. I've got wings on. Let's move on to the next, well, the last one. Let's move on to Severitis' build. Now, here I am in Sev's world that they have sent me, and I have a random person's head on my head. So, shout out to Flacity. <laughs> I look like I've aged and I've dyed my hair blonde and I'm now an old man. Oh no. Yeah, uh, I did, Flazzity, shout out. And shout out Sev to, for this absolutely gorgeous build. Nice medieval, high roofed, perfect for conquest. Absolutely loving it. The Love the texturing. I know that if this was like the most recent version of Minecraft that these would definitely be moss blocks. Because that would go so well with this roof color. And I really like all the details and stuff. They really went in with the 1.12.2. It's very difficult to build stuff like this in this version. So let's go inside. It's a nice, nice little room. A sea lantern. This is like a kitchen area and a desk for you to sit in and look at the leaves outside. <laughs> and a nice little bed. A nice double bed. That's very nice. And I think this is kind of just like... The bedroom slash living area, some storage, and we've got the classic, classic bush tree here. So the tree stump is the dead bush. Classic, love it. And then here's some storage and some nice paintings. But yeah, I think this is going to be very, very fun to transform. It's, it's the most medieval build of the three, so I think it would very much lend itself to some good conquest transformation. And with that, and is there, is there a second floor above? I don't think there is. I might add a second floor. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sev. Appreciate it. And yeah, let's go into the Conquest mod again <laughs> and transform this build. Let's go. Shout to my head. <laughs> And here it is, the build in its completion somewhat. I didn't actually do the second floor like I, I said I might, 
because I actually want this video to come out this year, so uh, <laughs> I skipped that part and just did the, the bottom interior. I kept the roof basically the same because I already loved the texture of it. The roof tiles were great. I just added a bit more. I curved the roofs and it looks very nice and the chimney is lovely and such. Ooh, ooh, it's just lots of lovely details. And let's look inside. It's like kind of a, right here is like an entrance porch kind of area with some crates like mail, like, and, and some nice cherry blossoms to kind of accent the green on top. And that's why I've, on the inside, I've done a, a red interior and it looks so lovely. <laughs> I love the curtains. The curtains are one, like, underrated block in this mod. And, and yeah, it's just very, very nice, honestly. It feels like a nice place to be in here. Got the, the classic wooden beams. I have also very much enjoyed using Roman brick in these transformations. It's very nice. And here we got the bedroom. So lovely it's just it just feels very homely it just feels very nice and yeah i'm i'm really happy with it how this has gone it's a bit of a gradient and i haven't really focused on like randomizing the texture it, i've kind of let the texture pack talk for itself and kind of give it the texture that the build needs but yeah i'm happy with this i like the tree it's a nice curved angled spruce tree, which is very lovely. And yeah, I'm just, it's all come together. Very, very lovely. Oh, actually, I've, I've, bear with me. There we go. Fixed. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Nice build. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And so there we have it. Three of my friend's builds transformed using the conquest mod. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. <laughs> I've uh, put a lot of time and effort into this and hopefully you all enjoy it. And the sheep are running away from me. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much to Arrington and Wolves of Pirates and Severitis for giving me some amazing builds for me to work on. It has been an absolute pleasure using their builds. Uh, I will link all of their channels down below but yes if you enjoyed the video do leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and i wanted to see down in the comments which one did you prefer did you prefer the ruined hotel the ruined abandoned hotel or the repopulation ufo or the medieval cottage i want to know which one was your favorite but yes this has been peepwarp with another Conquest Reforge mod pack video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you in the next video on my channel, which will be soon. I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. It's been a bit, you know, but I will get to it. Thank you so much, everybody. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>